You know, the Bible says love one another, and Andrew just put it out too again the other day that what an what a interesting thing that Jesus said, they'll know you're my disciples by your love for one another, not by your, you know, some people want to be real prosperous so that the world knows that they're serving Jesus. And I never figured that one out because a whole lot of evil people are prosperous <laughs> and nobody thinks they're from God, you know. But he said, they'll know, the world will know. And in God's love for the world that's now shed abroad in our hearts, we should have this same love. We, ha we have this same love, if we'll let it come out, for the world. Because he's in us now, we have a love for the world. And out of that, I, love for the world and our love for our Father, one of the greatest things that we can do, the greatest thing we can do is love one another. It's, you know, it's such a high priority. It's not just a nice thing. It's not just because we're good people. It's, it's our nature now. And as we love one another, I, I think that's just one of the greatest things. I mean, that's my main focus is how, what's that mean? How do I love people? And part of it is just respect and honor. You know, Paul said that to be with the Lord is better than being here. Um, so, in some ways we could say, well, let's just pray for one another that we all go to heaven soon. But somehow I don't think that's what we're supposed to do to you. We're supposed to live life down here to the fullest and to the the highest level we can, and part of that is remaining for the sake of other people. And Paul did say, because of my love for you, I'm going to stay. And therefore, we pray one for another. And one of the things that, that um, takes people out, one of the biggest things, and it affects us all in some ways, but some people a lot more, is the fact that we don't think we're valuable anymore to anybody.